All right, thanks, Gib. Well, turning to New York now, where doctors are leading the way in a very new kind of surgery. New Channel 5's Aaron Vanilla visited CVPH to watch surgeons demonstrate their new hands-off approach. Meet the newest surgeon at CVPH. The reaction from patients has been tremendous and really think it's just a, an outstanding uh, addition to the community. It's a robot that performs the very latest in urological, gynecological, and general surgeries with the guidance of a trained doctor. Just a week ago, the team of man and machine performed surgery on its first three patients. I cannot tell you the change. It's only been five days, and I'm, I'm pretty much um, doing everyday normal things. And I didn't know I was the first either, so I'm, I'm really happy to find that out now. Doctors say the robotic system offers a less invasive, more precise alternative to traditional surgeries, adding that because it makes a smaller incision, there's less scarring and shorter hospital stays. But the system is still in its infancy, being one of only 800 others around the world. They're still lying in the same position, maybe a little bit different position, but that doesn't change the surgery. The surgery is the same. Nurse Howard Bells is the last face patients see before surgery. It's his job to reassure them what they see is really just an extension of the doctor. Think of this as the doctor's arms, he says, reaching over the patient. And these are his hands holding the surgical instruments. It's very, very sensitive. It, and it's very, very fine motor movement. It's, uh, it gives you actually a sense of better control. This is totally safe with the, with the robot because the ro robot keeps me from pass pointing or, or potentially injuring tissue, damaging tissue. In Plattsburgh, Aaron Vanella, News Channel 5. Boy, that's amazing.